Hey YouTube fans, welcome back. This is Frank from Cruising with Wheels. Another episode of Tales from the High Seas. This one takes place uh, again uh, on the NCL Gem. Uh, we went uh, February of this year, 2017, and uh, we were in St. Martin's. And Kevin and I had dinner and uh, let's see, where were we? Let me check. Um, we had dinner somewhere. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. This even looks delicious. Oh, I think we were at uh, Moderno's. Yes, the Brazilian restaurant. And um, which was, you know, which was okay. Um, but after that, we went to the theater uh, 7 o'clock to see a show. Now, according to my notes, uh, let's see, it was in the Stardust Theater, and the show was called Two Worlds, and it was a Cirque du Soleil with uh, a beautiful couple, Aaron and Prudence. And um, so, any of you that have seen any kind of Cirque du Soleil show, they are truly awesome. Um, now, Kevin and I always get to the theater early because we need to find the handicapped parking area. Uh, and they have kind of, and there's like three levels to the theater. And so we went to, I think we went to level seven first and there was no room there. So we went down to level six and we check out the right side and there was already a guy in a scooter and people. So when we looked over, we could see the other side, the left side was, didn't see anybody. So he quickly wheels me down. We go out, down the corridor, and we go up the carpeted ramp to the other side. Uh, and there's the empty parking area. And there's actually um, an, an empty folding chair sitting there. And I thought, oh, how perfect. Chair is already there for Kevin to sit next to me. So Kevin's like, um, he's asking people, he says, you know, is anyone sitting here? And they're like, um, no, I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't think so. And then um, the 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 he sees this theater usher, and he's walking in, and he says, excuse me, do you know, is there anyone sitting here? And the usher's like, mm, I don't know, I don't think so. So Kevin starts to, you know, put, tries to wheel me and put me in place, and he's about to sit down, and some old Geezer starts running in and going, that's my chair, that's my chair. And we're like, what, what? So we turn around and we look, and he's barreling down, you know, running down. No walker, no cane, no wheelchair, no scooter. He's like, that's my chair. And so we're, we're kind of like, okay. And he plops himself down in the folding chair. Gee, the giant three-level stadium seated theater isn't enough for you. You have to sit in a folding chair in the handicapped parking area. All this seating, hundreds and hundreds of empty seats, you can't sit there. You have to sit there. So Kevin's like, well, we're going to have to find a place to go. And he's like, well, the guy's like, well, here, you can sit here. Why don't you just push him up over here next to me? And I was like, well, no, that's okay. I'm thinking, I'm not sitting next to this asshole. What a jerk. And I said, no, thank you. No, oh, well, it's okay. You can sit here. You can sit here. Roll him up. Roll him up. I said, no, no, that, that, that's okay. Uh, I'd really like to sit somewhere next to my husband and not have him somewhere else while I'm sitting next to you, you moron. So I look over, and opposite the, the handicapped part, little parking area, um, they kind of have a bar um, seating area. And there's like three bar stools in, in the bar. And I said, Kevin, I said, listen, there's a, there's a seat over there. I go, here, why don't, why don't you sit there at the bar and, um, you know, I'll just be parked kind of next to you. Um, so he goes, are you sure? I go, 
just let's just find a place because you know people are rolling in no time to be hemming and hawing so he pulls me over and of course I'm literally now the bar is like here so I'm sitting in my wheelchair and I'm behind the bar and all I can see is the bar and Kevin is right here sitting on his stool so he can see the show now I can't be anywhere out from behind the bar because then I would be in the walkway the thoroughfare with everybody moving in and out of the theater so I'm stuck sitting in my wheelchair behind the bar and I can't see a damn thing can't see the show I'm just sitting there like this and I'm looking over at the asshole guy who's sitting in that folding chair and he ain't giving it up for anybody in a wheelchair because that's where he's gonna sit now more people are coming in and people in their walkers and they just fold up their walker and they dump it you know in the area where the guy is sitting and they go running down the stairs then I see a woman tooling in in her scooter and she parks it you know where I would have been parked and she jumps off her scooter and goes running down the stairs to find a seat so I'm watching all these people in their scooters and wheelchairs and walkers all coming in and they're dumping all their equipment <laughs> in that area behind the guy in the chair and they're all running down into the theater to find their optimum place to sit and I'm like what am I in the frickin Twilight Zone why are why do these people need these wheelchairs and scooters if they're just gonna dump them and go running down the stairs so now the handicapped parking area for people like me has now become the dumping ground for all the unused wheelchairs and scooters because these people are all down sitting in the theater where I can't go so now it's approaching showtime and the lights in the theater come down and the show the curtain opens and the show begins and that fucking asshole guy in the folding chair stands up gets up and goes walking down to the stairs and apparently takes a seat next to a woman who is apparently his wife and he sits there in the theater seating for the show leaving the empty folding chair and all the abandoned wheelchairs and scooters and I thought you son of a bitch you it's like he deliberately sat there until the show started so we couldn't sit there and then the minute the show started stood up and went walking into the theater to sit with his wife so now the handicapped parking area, which is supposed to be for people like me, has an empty folding chair and all the abandoned wheelchairs. And I'm stuck behind the bar, not being able to see the show. Oh my God. If I could have got out of my wheelchair, I would have gone down those steps and I would have beat that asshole till he was dead. Till he was dead. What a jerk. I mean, who does that? Running down screaming, that's my chair, that's my chair. So I couldn't, you know, we couldn't sit there. And then when the show starts, gets up and walks into the theater. It boggles the mind. I was like, what is wrong with people? I mean, seriously. Is there something mentally wrong with these people? He did not need to be sitting there. That area is meant for people like me in a wheelchair or a scooter who cannot get down the stairs uh, to sit in the theater. There was no reason for him to be sitting there other than to prevent other people from uh, enjoying that area. Jerk. Anyways that's my tale so on behalf of Kevin and myself from cruising with wheels and tales from the high seas I'll see you soon for another episode stay tuned